Hello, Mr. Larry, Mr. Ryan, alright? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, today we talk about a simple problem. You know the ant, right? What's ant? The animal. Yeah. The little thing. The little thingy. You know, something like that, yeah? I'm not very good at drawing, but this um, is Oh, draw, Nan. That's just a human sideways. Oh yeah, very good point. Human sideways, yes. Okay, yeah, much better than than Can my drawing. So a, a end has uh, six six it? legs. Six legs? Mm -hmm. No, I think they have, they have four, right? No, they have six. Okay, they have six. Good. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, good. Okay. So just imagine we have this one dimension uh wooden wooden uh plank, okay, wooden board, yeah. How can you have a one dimensional wooden board? Yeah, that's just no, imagine on that's no wooden board. Okay, wooden plank, yeah, you know plank, P A N T. That's not plank. It can't be what it can't be one the it can't be a line. Okay. It's always 3D. That's right, yes, yeah. so we, li we live in a 3D world. Imagine this is one dimensional, and then each one we have a unit, right? So for, for example, like with n, with n equals 7, we have these kind of the uh, 7 units, actually 8 units, yeah, from 0 to 7. We are given two arrays. One array is left, one array is right. So they represent the positions where the end are. For example, the positions on the left in, in the left array, meaning that those ends are facing the left direction. And the coordinates in the right, mean, meaning that those ends are facing the right directions. Okay? So, for example, let's say we have all the ends. We have one end here facing right, one end facing right, okay? One end facing right, okay? So, three ends. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are stick people. Okay. So. At one second, these ends, you know, initially they, they place on this wooden plank, and then they, their speed is one unit per second. Okay, so what happened after one unit? They are all facing right. Eh? One unit, then after one second, you become these three, right? Okay, three. And one second, one second. As long as the end reaching the rightmost here or the leftmost here, they immediately fall, uh, you know, fall out. Okay. And we want to find out the last moment where the end yeah, falls ants, out. If the ants don't fall, if it's on a wooden plank, they can just, their legs can just keep hold of it. Yeah, just imagine that this, this is, uh, you know, ants it's a height and then they just fall. Ants are not good examples because they can just go on underneath the wooden plank. Okay, okay. Fall. Let's just imagine they just fall it's out. Hard. Okay. In this case, the last moment would be, what is the last moment? So, you know, this one. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Okay? And that's it. And the five seconds, it falls out. The last moment is five seconds. Because the last moment, the last end falls out is this one, right? Right? This is facing right. Okay? Makes sense, yes? How about if I said this end is facing facing left? So what happened? So four seconds. Four seconds. This one, right? Yeah? The next second will be yeah, but you said okay. You said um okay, and this fall down, okay. Since you said it will be two D. No, this is one D, one D. But you know, and when it's no, which is the zero. That's not seven. one D. You know, two, two D. One D is a straight line. Straight line, okay. So we we just put in an extra conditions that is when that, the end no, 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 reaches no, no. the beginning since, or the end, since, they just uh, you since know they just uh, take it up. Three D. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the third one, yeah? yeah? If it was facing left, then it couldn't because then because the third and fourth one would just collide. That's right, okay, that's what I'm going to say. Collide. What happened? They collide, okay? That's very good. Collide. They did each other's head. Very good. Okay, so first of all, we're given this left and right. They are unique integers, meaning that initially no two ends are placed on the same position, okay? Okay, and then the total number of left and right are always less or equal than this. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah? saying if the fourth one is facing left, and they're not. Okay, so okay, so let's take a look at two. This one to the right, this one to the left. 
So what's the answer? When they collide, what happened in reality when two ants collide? You know, when they two ants meet each other, what 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 do they do usually? It depends. They can just pass each other. Pass each other, or they turn around, basically, right? Okay, so let's say when the two ants meet, when the two ants collide, they bump. They change their directions. But they change their direction, and that's not, no, that's not how it works. I know, but because just, they don't necessarily because it's. This, and this is, not, this is not like ants, this, this is like moving balls. Yeah, that's very good. You've mentioned a good point. Moving balls, okay? So when the balls hit together, collide, collide. When the balls collide, they change the directions to the opposite direction. Yeah. And no time is wasted, okay? So no time is wasted, okay? So it means that they just change the direction immediately. Okay, in that physics. Can't, that can't happen. No, no, okay. It's not like, ooh, I teleported. Okay, in physics, yeah, remember this morning I told you about the physics. Two balls hit each other. Two balls hit, hit each other, okay? In physics, there's an elastic collision. Elastic collision. Meaning that when they collide, no energy momentum. is wasted. Momentum is wasted. Yeah? Momentum. And then connected, yeah, connected energy. You need an E after the end. Okay, connected energy. You waste it. What does it mean? If there are two balls, I have two more balls. This is mass one, this is mass two. At the beginning, this is V1, this is V2. But when they collide, when they collide, there's no uh, you know momentum wasted and there's no connected energy wasted. So Yeah, but kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Kinetic uh, energy, just like other energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, really big, you can't really be like so big. momentum is the same. So is what does it mean? It's M one V one plus M two V two equals M one V one dash. This is the new speed after collision plus M two V two dash, and then connected energy is half of M one V one square plus half of M two V two square equals half of M one V one dash square plus half of M two V two dash square. Okay, so this is physics. Okay, in simple words, when they collide each other, when they collide, the next moment is just the opposite direction. Okay, so because wait, wait, because wait, wait, here so, to both so, the mass is the same, so the ends so is the same. What saying is like when um for like in on the first second, yeah, they will still be on two and four. Yes, okay, that's right. Okay, so the ends and the mass are the same, right? The mass are the same. So, you know, they're, they're same size. You know, no end, one end is bigger than the other. They are same size. So when they collide, so the next second, you just, you know, turn the opposite, turn the opposite, turn the opposite. Okay, so how do we find out the last moment where the last end falls? It's basically like you could do the ants, but they're in different section because when they bump into each other, it's either like that where they go in opposite direction, but they can still that's the still. Well, yeah, it's basically the same because it's it's the, the same direction, just in the opposite. You can just think of it as you know they just never meet each other. They just continue, right? It's the same thing, am I right? Okay, so just imagine. Look, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to use these two ends. Okay. But you said it was 2D. No, 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 it's the same, right? No, so what happened? Because two end, ends are the same as each other. They're, they're the same mass. Right? Look, here. It's, it's the same as... As this, right? It's the same, right? It's the same, right? Just different color, right? Different color. We want to find out the moment that the last end falls out. So we don't care which one falls out, right? So it's the same. When they collide, we don't need to... Consider it continues walking without a collision, am I right? Mm. Okay, so in this case, what's the last moment? How many seconds before this end, before the last end falls out? Yeah, two and four. Five seconds, yeah? Mm. Yeah, this one, right? One, two, three, four, five, five. And this one to the left, one, two, three, four, four. So five, five seconds, okay? So given these two arrays containing the integer positions for the ends, for the balls and the initial positions, Correspond to, to those uh, facing left and facing right initially. We want to find out the the moment, the how many seconds before how many seconds before the last end or ball falls out. 
you know, touches the left, the zero, or the end, the ramus. So how do we do it? How do we do it? For example, like facing left would be two, three, four. Okay. Facing right would be six, seven. Two, three, four. Facing right would be six, seven. Six, seven. Okay. So what's the answer? Obviously, this one is the last one, right? So one, two, three, four. Okay. And how can we calculate that number? Okay, so it might seem difficult, okay? Let's just consider all the ends facing left. So what's the, what's the last moment? What's the, what's the answer? Most right. Let's if say, they're all facing left, then it's the most right. Most right, most right, which is the biggest, right? We can find this part. And how about those facing right? Facing right, what's the answer? The left one, right? And we want to calculate this bit, right? So e which is n minus that, right? Am I right? Yeah, 7 minus 2, 5. For this n here, it needs the 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Am I right? For this one here, it, it needs 4 seconds. 7 minus 3 equals 4. Because 1, 2, 3, 4. Am I right? Okay? So for the left, we want to get the maximum. For the right, we also want to get the maximum, but we want to get the maximum. n minus i, okay? The index. And that's it. So it might seem so complicated because of a collision, but we just uh, discuss the collision. We can just treat it as no collision because the balls hit each other. They tend they operate with the same speed, one unit per second. So, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay. So let's try the code. It should be pretty simple. It should be pretty simple. Define f left right n. Answer equal zero. And the beginning is, is zero. We want to get the maximum, right? So for i in left, because the left and right array might be empty. So we use the array here. So answer equals max answer i, right? This is for the left. And then for i in right, answer equals max answer n minus i and return answer that's it yeah all right one look the code this is the code this is the code okay two arrays we're going through the left array to find out the maximum right the left those ends facing left we want to get the maximum maximum value that's the number of seconds before the left ends the last end facing left falls out okay and then facing right another loop to find out the number of seconds before the last end facing right falls out okay and then that's it we can make this uh, shorter right look we can use the max function actually we can just say max left we need to give a default value when it's uh, empty default equals zero and then we want to find out the max of these this is the max and then max right but right, we are not finding the right value. We need to find out the n minus the right value. So which is n minus i for i in right. And of course, we need to give a default value when it, the array is empty. Default equals zero. And that's it. That's it. This is simpler. Does it make sense? Yeah. The time complexity. Oh, that is Oh. N. Yeah, oh, n. N is the number of the uh, N is the number of arrays. The, the N is the number of sides for all the elements in the array. Okay, the left plus right. Okay, the space complexity is O1 because we're using a linear space here. Does it make sense, Eric? Right? Okay. What have you learned today? <laughs> what have you learned today? Come on. The yeah, the balls. On the, on the platform and want to find the, the number of seconds it takes for the longest the, the ball that takes the longest amount of time to fall off okay so what are we actually doing here we just what are we doing here if all right then return the most left if all left then the most right but we have to compare <laughs> which which one right nothing okay. nothing Eric, can you please summarize? So, what's oh. the solution? Yeah. We just, um, just uh, doing the thing. What thing? 
problem. So what happened when the two balls collide? Uh, they they collide and then and then for some reason they just they just tele sort of like teleport. Yeah, yeah, they just actually passing through. It doesn't matter, right? You can think of it as they just passing through without a collision because it doesn't change the result. Okay? Yeah, makes sense? Yeah, but if you think about it, it's sort of weird because, because they, go to, to, they go to that spot where the collision happens and then, and then they sort of like teleport away. Teleport. Sort of like they, they're supposed to like bounce off. But there's not really like bounce. Well, they do bounce off. It's just that it takes no time. No time. Yeah, no time. That's like, that's what I'm saying. Elastic collision. So when it collide, when it collide, collide, it bounces back, right? Yeah, but, but it's it, actually the yeah, same yeah, as yeah, yeah, but, passing through. This is ideal. So in in reality, the elastic collision doesn't happen quite a lot, right? So this is ideal. So when we study, we we said this. Uh, we we, put, we have this uh, assumption, right? It doesn't cause the momentum lost, or it doesn't cause the connected energy waste. Okay, so we can just think of it as the passing through. How's it wasted? So you, you know when the two balls hit, right, collide, it, it will turn into other kind of the energy, for example, the heat, okay? The total heat, the total energy before and after collision should stay the same. I don't think it should, I don't think it turns into another. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's over here. We only consider it doesn't have another source of the energy transformation, okay? So, so the speed, the speed before and after the collision stays the same in just the opposite direction okay and then because we want to find out we want to find out the moment the last end last ball falls out so it doesn't matter which ball falls out last right so the left may turn into the right right may turn into the left it doesn't matter okay does it make yeah. sense now yeah okay let's see for today bye 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 bye